this is just now this going fucking crazy. Uh, this is how black women and girls are being attacked online. Yes, because that's the only group of people that gets attacked online. Okay! I, uh, funny, I'm a, I'm a white straight male and uh, I'm a lot of these people's Satan. I get told constantly I shouldn't speak at all. There is going to be a third now this video, but for that one, you're going to have to pay me. Link to my Patreon is down below. For the low, low price of $1 a month, you can enjoy many, many exclusive videos. And there's some other perks. For five bucks, you get to tell me what to yell about. Okay, so how black women and girls are being attacked online. Black women and girls are under attack online. Uh, okay, from what? Mean comments? You've heard about the Russian interference in the election, how it sowed discord and division between groups. But okay. Okay, we're, we're on Russia and the election. All right. You might not have heard that these divisions were centered on black identity. Racism. Russian election hacking is tied to black identity. Okay, I'm lost. Some is a vulnerability in the United States that can be exploited. Yeah. Like how Jesse Smollett tried to exploit it. There were a series of online campaigns that were the testing bed for what would eventually happen in 2016. It started as early as 2013. Donglegate was a campaign targeting a black woman who spoke up about sexism at a tech conference. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. No. That woman there got two guys fired because of a private joke they told to themselves. Uh, I don't know. She, she shouldn't have gotten death threats, and I can't remember much about the story, but I do remember that she herself did some shitty things, so she probably should have gotten fired. Okay, so accounts posing as black women were being run by men's rights guys and pickup artists. Okay, I don't know that much about MRAs. Uh, the only thing I do know about them is that they usually just fight for dads to have a better shake and men to have a better shake in, like, divorce and family courts because there is a clear double standard bias there. And how the fuck... Do pickup artists what? I don't even know what the hell that the the pickup artists have to do with anything. To co-op social justice movies that were organizing. Oh my god, they don't have to co-opt. I, I and I don't know what the hell. Okay, whatever. Um. They don't have to be co-opted. Most social justice movements are retarded and say retarded things on their own. Like Black Lives Matter. A few black women created a campaign to identify fake accounts that were pretending to be black women with the hashtag, your slip is showing. But the pattern of fake accounts pretending to be black women have already- How, how would this affect anything? You're like 7% of the population. Taken hold. This tactic would later become useful in the 2016 elections to suppress the black vote. How? So I post, so I'm posing as a fake black woman on Twitter and suddenly that gives me the power to suppress the black vote in America. Oh my God, 126 million Americans engaged with ads from a Russian agency. Okay, let's say that's true. 
no ad in the history of the universe would would actually get anyone to change their vote. People didn't vote for Hillary because she was Hillary. A Twitter and Facebook account, both disguised to look like they were run by the same black activists, were actually the work of Russians. When the House Intelligence Committee released the 3,500 ads from the Internet Research Agency, the overall sentiment was that it was about race. Uh, okay. Among all the groups targeted, African Americans received the most attention uh, by these Russian troll farms. The understanding that African Americans should be targeted to try to keep them from voting for Democrats, but also— Oh, my God. That is just—they say Alex Jones is conspiratorial. Recognizing the way in which racism and racial tropes could be used to stir up uh, racial divides in the election. Yeah. And I'm willing to bet the number's a lot higher for white males. Everyone who goes on social media gets criticism. If you post anything, you get criticism. It's not especially bad because you're black. As of today, the problems we are facing with social media have yet to be solved. No well, it's kind of the problems we're all facing with social media. Because, you know, you put your ideas out there, and somebody's going to criticize them. No matter how sophisticated the algorithms will become, the solution is within reach, and it's a human one. I don't believe it will be fixed until we focus on the victims of these attacks instead of the... Oh, my God. You are not victimized because somebody was trolling you online. If I smash you in your stupid face with a baseball bat, that would, be an, that would make you a victim. Attackers. When people think about black women or girls, they are standard stereotypes that are instantly believed. We will not solve this problem until I could say that exact same thing about white men. We understand that. Oh, thank God that's over. So, uh, yeah, join me for the third one of these. Now this, it's a never-ending repository of stupid.